The James Webb Space Telescope, also known as Webb or JWST, is a scientific trailblazer that has revealed amazing details about stars, planets, galaxies, and other fascinating cosmic phenomena, setting new standards for scientific excitement. Webb is hailed as the venerable Hubble Space Telescope's replacement. Individuals from around the world are exchanging photos or using raw data to create fresh insights. One year has passed since the formidable James Webb Space Telescope unveiled its first-ever historic image of the universe, shocking astronomers worldwide with its extraordinary detail. However, its most recent finding is a horrifying picture of the universe that we have never seen before. What has been discovered so far by the James Webb Space Telescope is posing more questions than answers for scientists. Join us as we explore how the James Webb Space Telescope captures the most terrifying image ever seen in history. The successor to the Hubble Telescope unveiled new information about star formation, galaxy mergers, and the early cosmos just one month after the initial photos were released. The pictures were breathtaking, revealing the universe in stunning detail. Since then, the number of discoveries has skyrocketed, providing scientists with an enormous data treasure trove. James Webb Space Telescope observations of cosmic tarantulas, record-breaking space smoke, stars on the verge of supernova explosions, and other incredible celestial objects have been documented. This satellite observatory's cutting-edge technology allows us to peer farther into space than before, revealing previously unknown details about the cosmos. A new era in astronomy has dawned, thanks to the photos, which can be so detailed. As a way to commemorate the first year of the James Webb Space Telescope's operation, NASA released a picture that shows a tiny star-forming area in the Ro-Afiyuki cloud complex. The picture shows jets erupting from newborn stars as cosmic dust clouds of various colors collide. Molecular hydrogen makes up the red dust, and the presence of a circumstellar disk casts a shadow on a few stars, suggesting the possibility of planet formation in the distant past. The picture may show cosmic mayhem, but according to NASA, this stellar nursery is tiny and peaceful compared to others. Additionally, many of the young stars in this area are about the size of our sun or even smaller, making it the nearest star-forming region to Earth. This picture was captured by the main camera of the observatory, the Webb Space Telescope's near-infrared camera, which captures cosmic images in two distinct infrared spectrums all at once. Furthermore, the Space Telescope has improved our knowledge of exoplanets, or worlds that orbit stars other than our sun. James Webb is particularly good at looking at large galaxies. The Satellite Observatory discovered its first exoplanet, LHS 475b, at the beginning of 2023. The planet is 41 light-years distant and has a diameter comparable to Earth. According to NASA, James Webb is the sole operational telescope capable of classifying the atmosphere of Earth-sized exoplanets. After that, the James Webb Telescope found proof of long-gone galaxies that, from a theoretical standpoint, shouldn't have existed. Eva Swindon University and her worldwide astronomical team have found six enormous old galaxies called cosmic breakers. They have the potential to completely change the way we think about space. These massive galaxies may have come into existence between 500 to 700 million years after the Big Bang, according to the researchers' results earlier this year. The telescope's infrared sensors detected them through the use of these instruments, allowing us to glimpse back in time around 13.5 billion years when stars and galaxies were much younger. The enormous vastness of the cosmic breakers has left scientists bewildered. Galaxies in the early universe should have been 10 to 100 times smaller than that. Their calculations indicate that these six objects may be billions of times heavier than our sun. The sum of all the stars in one galaxy might be 100 billion times heavier than our sun. Does the thought of trying to understand something so massive give you the willies? Even though the majority of galaxies during this period are relatively tiny and just expanding ever so slightly, some monsters reach adulthood far more quickly than others. It is unclear what would cause this or how it would function. Penn State University astronomy and astrophysics assistant professor and study co-author Joel Leeser expressed his astonishment at the discovery of a new category of objects formed at the Big Bang. The discovery that the development of huge galaxies started at the very beginning of the universe's history challenges many of our previously held beliefs about the state of science. It seems our discovery is so out of the ordinary that it poses challenges to the scientific community. It throws into doubt the entire scenario of how galaxies formed in the early universe. Way more massive than anyone expected, describes the things. All galaxies in the range are considered babies since they are still in the process of formation. However, galaxies that are as old as our own have been found in the early cosmos, which was previously thought to be its beginning. 
Spectrometry, which separates light into its component wavelengths to enable more accurate distance measurements, is still required to validate the results, which have scientists scratching their heads. There are only a handful of recently found objects for which distance and mass have been verified. If the data is accurate, galaxy creation had to have been considerably more efficient and rapid than what is now thought. The fact that spectra corroborated our standard operating system's inferences from the visuals is promising. For years, scientists have sought to decipher cosmic history. Nevertheless, a single piece of machinery may hold the key. Observations of space and time have long piqued the curiosity of scientists, so it is not surprising that conflicting facts presented by telescopes might lead to a lack of clarity. At this point, cosmologist Dr. Katie Mack has chosen to offer her insights into the matter to explain how this could be occurring. She brought out the fact that the JWST has been providing evidence of galaxies that seem to have originated or matured much earlier than what scientists had anticipated from their models. Do not worry, though, as Mack pointed out, the telescope is capturing images of galaxies over 13 billion light-years away, and they are somewhat blurry. It seems like there hasn't even been enough time since the Big Bang for these big galaxies to have formed, according to the dates that cosmologists have been receiving from the telescope. Many in the field were concerned that this casts doubt on various theories, including dark matter and the Big Bang, but we should go further into the evidence to find out for sure. The telescope captures breathtaking views of close nebulae but fuzzy little dots when it comes to faraway galaxies. The reason is that different colors are affected by different parts of the light spectrum. The Webb telescope can detect light from a source in two different ways. It may utilize a spectrum by spreading out the light with a spectrograph, which works a bit like a prism, and examining the brightness of each color, or it can use filters that block all but a select range of colors. They can then calculate the redshift of the galaxy by comparing this data with spectra predicted for galaxies with the same characteristics. What this redshift informs us of is the exact instant in cosmic history that we are viewing. It turns out that many galaxies have an excess of stars or stars that were too young when they would have lived, according to comparisons of model spectra. There are a number of possible explanations for this. The photometric readings might have been off because of problems with the telescope's calibration. Alternatively, they may have been observing a cluster of galaxies that is not representative of the norm or extremely tiny areas of the sky. Another possible explanation is that galaxy spectrum models are designed for closer galaxies, which don't work well with galaxies further away. On the other hand, cosmologists would face the thrilling prospect of having to totally rethink cosmic evolution if those galaxies are indeed extremely large and earlier estimations were incorrect. But it's hardly the only area where scientists have fallen short. Despite technological progress, planets that are actually too large to exist have experts very perplexed, and none more so than the finding of a planet that is deemed too massive for itself. This has prompted a re-evaluation of our collective understanding of planet creation and solar system architecture, as well as the models developed by astronomers. In the aftermath, a planet that is 13 times as huge as Earth has been found, according to research out of Penn State. Legend has it that this planet is in a planetary system around the ultracool star LHS 354, a star that is nine times less massive than our Sun. Prior to recently witnessing it for themselves, scientists did not believe such a scenario was feasible, but new evidence shows that the largest planet in our solar system is actually orbiting one of the universe's smallest and coolest stars, an ultracool dwarf. We still know very little about the cosmos, and this finding proves it even more. A planet of this mass orbiting a star with such low mass defies our expectations. These stars may have originated in massive gas and dust clouds. Planets may arise from the gas and dust that remain in the disk of material around the newborn star. After this, it is not anticipated that the planet-forming disk surrounding the low-mass star LHS 354 contains enough solid mass to produce this planet. However, it exists, so we must now reconsider our theories regarding stellar and planetary formation. A good analogy would be to compare the stars to a campfire. In order to maintain your body temperature, you must get nearer to the fire as its temperature decreases. Planets are no different. Planets that want to be hot enough to support liquid water must be closer to stars with lower temperatures. If a planet is in a tight enough orbit around an ultracool star, we can see the tug of the planet on the star's light or spectra, which causes a tiny shift in the star's color. On the other hand, look up into the sky. A new breathtaking image of the ice giant Uranus featuring nearly 90% of the planet's surface is captured. This image includes several of Uranus' moons and 11 of its 13 rings. The ice giants of our solar system Uranus and Neptune have long been a mystery to astronomers due to the fact that they are much further from the Sun than the planets visible to the human eye. Uranus is more than 1.8 billion miles away, 
while Neptune is more than 2.7 billion miles away. Scientists are still unsure of what exactly lies within them, and they have yet to determine how many moons are orbiting these planets. At least 27 moons have been found in orbit around Uranus, although they are all shrouded in darkness. Uranus' strong tilt, 98 degrees relative to its orbit, makes the planet's seasonal shift severe, which contributes to the mystery. Each season is only one-fourth as long as the planet's 84-year orbit around the Sun. However, a stunning new picture from the James Webb Space Telescope may provide some insight into these mysterious planets. The picture was captured with the help of James Webb's near-infrared camera. This time-lapse image was created using two filters in the near-infrared part of the spectrum. A bluish haze may be seen throughout the entire image of Uranus, while a massive cloud covering nearly 90% of the planet's surface stands out against the hazy background in a dazzling white. Astronomers say this is just a tiny portion of the planet's polar ice cap which is only visible when the sun is directly overhead. This is the first ever image of Uranus that shows this ice giant in such breathtaking detail. An extraordinarily rare object, Uranus is a planet that resembles no other. We can only hypothesize how it works, but the planet's severe axial tilt causes one side to always face the sun while the other is constantly in darkness, resulting in extreme weather conditions like 42-year-long winters. However, the newly discovered presence of clouds over Uranus poles and the data obtained from JWST may help us better comprehend these unique conditions. James Webb can take pictures of planets billions of kilometers away, but it can also take pictures of objects much closer to Earth. To begin with, asteroids make up the asteroid belt, a region of space where rocks orbit the Sun like planets do. The asteroids were not seen until recently, yet the data provided by James Webb was significantly crisper than that of earlier telescopes. We may gain fresh insights into the asteroid belt from this. The solar system's development and the potential dangers that asteroids could bring to Earth. James Webb, however, has made a discovery that will shock the scientific world, and what it discovered about the early cosmos is horrifying. Through these findings, it is possible to explore the depths of space like never before and look deeper into the enigma that surrounds it. James Webb's incredible ability to capture intricate cosmic structures will likely open the door to many more scientific advances in the years to come. The successor to Hubble, this telescope, has accomplished extraordinary feats for a satellite observatory. With its vast data collection and expertise, it is a tool that may significantly alter our knowledge of space. Although many challenges still lie ahead, the James Webb Space Telescope has already significantly advanced our knowledge of the cosmos. What surprises do you anticipate discovering in the cosmos' furthest reaches? Will JWST be able to unravel the mystery of the first galaxies?